hectic afternoon. Are we out of the woods yet? I think so. Most of us are seeing uh, just a few showers in parts of Lancaster County, but I think for the most part we're uh, getting rid of the severe threat. If we go look now, Lewistown, this is where that first shower kind of started this afternoon. And this view looks quite a bit different around 2 to 3 o'clock. And also looking different was uh, Elizabethville, parts of northern Dauphin County. Getting a nice report of uh, hail here in Elizabethville from Mike, a viewer uh, here in northern Dauphin County, one of the harder hit spots, Perry and northern Dauphin County. Some of our rainfall totals, about half an inch. Uh, some of the higher totals, actually Capital City Airport, uh, three quarters of an inch. But I think that's a little bit from this morning. Remember, we had a little bit of rain come through and then that downpour this afternoon. So beneficial rain. We can use uh, the rain without the damage, but unfortunately some damage reports coming in from the north. Officially at the airport, uh, 0.43 inches. So not quite making it to half an inch there in Middletown. Looking at the radar now, you see most of us are quiet. Uh, the only active spot at the moment is in Lancaster County. So just south of the city, a couple stronger downpours, uh, not seeing any lightning, and of course uh, not seeing any severe threat with this shower. I think that's mostly uh, moved on to the north and east of us. And for the rest of the evening, I think we stay mostly, uh, mostly dry. There could be a pop-up shower, and we are trying to clear some out here in Lancaster County, but see some drier air here working its way in. And this complex of showers here may come into our area overnight. So Brett will be here early in the morning uh, taking a look at that. So don't be surprised if you wake up to some thunder and lightning uh, overnight. But dew points are just ripe. Temperatures, uh, dew point temperatures in the low to mid 70s. Uh, so don't expect the temperatures, gonna, they're, they're not going to drop tonight. So uh, definitely use the air conditioning and don't expect a cool morning waking up. So Precision Cast uh, did pretty well here keeping the showers to our north. And you see we're staying mostly clear. But here's what I'm talking about. Uh, maybe around 2 to 3 o'clock could be some rumbles of thunder with some showers here. Uh, and then the rest of the day, uh, there are some afternoon showers and storms as well. So as we run this out to about 7 o'clock dinner time, uh, some showers and storms on Monday. And unfortunately, that might continue on Tuesday. I can't rule out a shower or a storm popping up during the day on Tuesday as well. But overall, coverage appears to be a lot less and temperatures will be in the mid 80s. So Independence Day not looking too bad. There could be some fireworks in Mother Nature's Zone. Keep an eye on the radar for that, but uh, best chance of storms looking tomorrow afternoon. And as we move into the rest of the week, Taylor, looking a uh, very warm Wednesday through Friday, limited chances of rain, looking actually kind of hot temperatures right around 90. I'm not quite ready to call the heat alarm or the uh, heat wave alarm quite yet, because if we get some storms on Friday, we may not reach that 90 degree mark, but then a chance of showers and storms return by next weekend. So beneficial rain, but we can uh, definitely go without that damage. All right. Thank you, Michael. Let's send it over to George for a look at sports.